Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where we will be going over how to actually install Unity in the first place. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to Unity's website here where we can select Get Started. And actually we want to go to the Individual tab here and we want to select Personal. So the reason that you'll do this is because chances are you're not a big game studio. If you're watching this video, you're probably just one person. So yeah, you just click first time user install Unity Hub setup. And I'll actually cancel this because I already have it installed. But you just go through the basic installation. And after that, you have Unity Hub. So this is very different from Unity itself because this houses all your different projects and it also houses your different versions of Unity. So you can see here, I was in the Projects tab here, and I have a bunch of different projects. And there's also the Learn tab, so you can actually download a sample project, for example. You have Community, so you have some links to some useful uh, forums. And then you have Installs. So once you have Unity Hub installed, you actually want to go here, and you want to select add a new version of unity so i would recommend choosing the latest official release because this is more stable than for example the pre-releases however if you're looking into unity and you see some really cool feature that's out in the newest version in the newest alpha or beta then go ahead and go for it because at least the betas should be fairly stable but for now you should just go with a safe option so after you select that, you can have your different choices here. I recommend to start off with, if you're using Windows, just click Windows. If you're using Mac, just click Mac, because you can always go back and add more uh, different modules on. So for example, I also do Android because I work with some Android games. And I would make sure to click Documentation. After that, you just have to agree. And yeah, you can start your download. So, once your download actually finishes, you'll be ready to create a project. But actually before that, I'd recommend signing in or making an account with Unity. I think it might force you to do that anyway. So I'll just sign in real quick here. Okay. And so I will have my settings here and yeah, you can see I have some projects actually in the cloud. So another thing that we need to do is click on this settings button here and then go to license management. So if you're working with Unity, it will probably force you to have a license. So if you try to create a new project without one, it won't work. So you can just click activate new license. And yeah, so go for Unity personal. And chances are you're not really using this in a professional capacity or you're earning less than hundred thousand dollars so yeah just choose what applies to you and then click done so you now have a license so you can actually open and create a new project so in your projects tab here just click new and here if you're planning on working in 3d just choose this 3d option but if you're planning on working in 2d choose this for now, you shouldn't worry about these. These are a little bit more specialized. And the only other thing is to name your project and then make sure you have a good location where you can put all your projects in so you can just have everything well organized. And after that, you should be able to click Create and it should load up in Unity for you. All right, instead of waiting for that, I'll go back into Unity Hub to show you a, a few more things that might be useful to you. So if you're working with a project and you have multiple different versions of Unity, you can actually go here and select the version. So that can be really nice if you have some old projects that can't be converted to a new version of Unity. And then over here, your target platform. So you can see here, if I just open this project, its target platform is for Windows because I'm using a Windows computer right now. But if I wanted to export my game to Android, you actually need to select your target platform as Android. So that just means when you build your project, it is built with an APK instead. Well, that's specific to Android, but for any target platform you're working with, you just need to switch to that if you want to build to that device. 
Anyways, other than that, just remember Unity Hub is a place where you hold your different versions of Unity and you can also access your projects, even the ones that are in the cloud as you can see here. I don't have them on my computer, but I could uh, just download them to my computer and everything like that. So yeah, thank you for watching and yeah.